my number one fan watching my vlog of his video when I'm right here. Are you loving it? It's kind of boring. <laughs> That's what I thought. Hello, welcome to Vlogmas day five. I think we're at five now. I'm just setting up my camera to film my last wrap up video. We're starting off a little late today. It is 11:27. I've just been sitting in my bed, played Animal Crossing, did my dailies. I was going to edit Vlogmas day four, but my dad was using the computer. It's his computer, so like can't really say anything about it because he's being very, very nice and letting me use his computer because my computer is not up to speed with what I need for editing. Like my computer that I have is solely like a work computer. It's what I use to do all my assignments for school. So the hard drive, I don't know what, the stuff inside of it, processing system, I don't know, does not edit videos well. Everything just lags and it doesn't work. So I use my dad's computer cause it's like a gaming computer. So the system's just much better. I should buy my own. I know, dad, if you're watching this, I know I should buy my own, but I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm cheap, okay? That's my problem. Yeah, I'm going to film my wrap up part three and my TBR and maybe a tag video or another kind of video so I have something done so that I don't have to worry about it next weekend because I work next weekend, blah, blah, blah. And then we're gonna edit Vlogmas day. Four. I also wanted to update you guys. I finished White Smoke and ooh, I really enjoyed it. I give it a four out of five stars. So the last two books that I've read have been a four out of five stars. So I'm kind of really happy about that and where my reading is going. I'm reading Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm assuming it's going to either be a four or a five because I love her writing. So I'm only about 58, 60 pages in and so far I'm loving it. So like I said, probably a four or a five. So I am killing the reading game right now and it's only December 5th and I'm already two books down so I'm thinking I might actually have a lot of reading done in December especially because I have two weeks off of a work so I'm just gonna be able to read like all the time and I'm so excited about it update on my skirt how's it going it's going great she added in the zipper and she's very proud of it it's usually I suck at zippers I'm excited it looks wonderful well I'm glad I just hope it fits you because remember you're the in-betweeny size so if it doesn't fit you're gonna squeeze into it anyway what if it's too big well, then we're just going to put a, a, a clothespin. Okay. Look, that word was not coming. <laughs> it's very obnoxious. Isn't it, though? I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> hey. So, it's now 2.30. I filmed my wrap-up and my TBR. My camera's charging now. I either talk a lot or my battery sucks. I'm not really sure which one. My mom's coming. Maybe she's not coming in. Nope, she's coming. <laughs> they can't see you though. That's okay. Now they, oh no, they can see you in the mirror. Oh, what are you reading? Sorry. I'm reading Malibu Rising. I haven't seen that you one. You have seen it because you came with me to pick it up. No, but I don't remember it. It's the author of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Six. It's her newest book. Is that the same author? Yes. I didn't know that. It follows Mick Riva, who is in Evelyn, well, Mick Riva's family, who was in the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. He was one of Evelyn's husbands, and it's his kids in this book. Oh. It's really good so far. I'm only... Are you physically reading it? No, I'm listening to it on audiobook. I'm 74 pages in, but I'm obsessed already. I really like her writing style. I still haven't read the Evelyn Hugo. You need one. to read Evelyn Hugo. It's... I don't even know where it is. It's on my shelf. I don't know, but you need to read it. It's so good. It's stinking incredible. I have, uh, I have a whole box of books plus my library book. And the last book I gave you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who has more books? Still me. I am going to do a TBR of just all the shittiest books I can find and then you'll get through them real fast and then you'll just get rid of them. The shittiest? Oh, so books that you think I won't like? Yeah. That's going to be... Okay. So or January check. 2022. Yeah. Books you think I'll hate? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great time. <laughs> Is
is now 5.17. I just read this entire book because I filmed my TBR and then I saw how short it was and it's all just a book of poems and so I was like I can get that done so it took me two hours to read this book and I'm either gonna give it a 3 or 3.5. I honestly can't decide. I really liked the poems in it but then for like a little bit in the middle there we get a story about a girl who moves to Canada. She's pregnant and and she has a daughter and then we get to follow this daughter but it was only like 20 pages and I just wanted more of that story and I'm kind of like sad that I didn't get more of it so I kind of want Jasmine Carr to just write that story as like a novel because like I was invested in these characters only in 20 pages so imagine like a whole book where it's actually following those characters like it would have been so good I don't really know what I'm gonna do I need to eat dinner I'm pretty sure we're having the Mandarin which I don't even know if like Americans have the Mandarin it's like a Chinese restaurant here in Canada I don't know if you guys have it but it is so good I love it it's like Chinese takeout because it used to be a buffet but because of coronavirus COVID just doesn't allow buffets so now it's all takeout um, I'm not 100% sure if it's open again but numbers are rising again here so I don't know if they're gonna change tactics again but I'm I'm pretty excited for the Mandarin. I freaking love it. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> and Dad's getting drunk. Can you get drunk off of eggnog? Not unless you put alcohol in it. Oh, you should. There's no alcohol in it. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> Earthquake! That's my brother being a p head. Can I say? YouTube and demonetize. <laughs> demonetize. <laughs> what? I'll bleep it out if I know how to do that. I don't. It's really not hard. My fortune is a sincere apology goes a long way. Do you have anything to say for making uh, my earthquake? <laughs> Aftershock. Uh, thank you for joining me for Vlogmas Day 5. Uh, sorry, it was just a lot of reading. That's all I did today.